Hello everyone, this is me Adij with a new video and in this video I'm going to talk about this LM298N motor driver. Now using this motor driver you can actually control the direction of the DC motors and also the speed of the motors and it's a very good motor in this uh, motor driver and in this video we are mainly going to talk about like how you can use this thing like in different scenarios like with different uh, input voltages how to configure this thing and also what are the advantages and disadvantages of this motor driver now basically in some of my future videos i am going to use this thing i am already working on a project where i am using this so that's why i thought before i publish those videos i should make this video so that you will have you will know how this thing actually work and how you can configure it configure it according to your need so uh, let's get started Okay, so this is how this motor driver looks like as you can see. Now before we talk about this motor driver, we have to talk about how actually a motor driver controls the like motors. Now what are the things it need to do so. So basically in a motor driver, uh, you need two things to control the motors. The first thing is you need to control the motor direction and the second thing is you need to control the motor speed. Now coming to the direction, to control the direction, this motor driver has an edge bridge. Now in an edge bridge, it has four like switches and you can by turning off any of the two switches you can actually uh, reverse the direction of the motor so using the edge bridge it actually uh, controls the direction of the motor and to control the speed it has uh, actually by connecting this motor driver with a microcontroller and then by using pwm signals we can control the speed now pwm stands for pulse rate modulation and if you don't know what this thing is basically using this we can change the average voltage applied to the motor now as we know by uh, decreasing the voltage we can actually decrease it we can decrease the speed of the motor and also by increasing the voltage you can increase the speed of the motor and in in this way by uh, changing the pwm signals we can change the average voltage and thus we can change the speed of the motor in this way it basically controls the direction and the speed of the motor now if you see here how we can connect motor now it's simple let's say we have two motors motor a and motor b we can connect one motor with this two terminals and then another motor with these two terminals let's say this is the motor a and this is the motor b this is how you can connect two motors with this uh, motor driver now the first thing is how we can power this motor driver now uh, basically we can control uh, motors ranging from 5 volt to 35 volts using this motor driver now uh, so to power this thing we have to use these three pins this three pins okay now the first pin if you see it is leveled as 12 volts this pin is leveled as 5 volts uh, sorry ground middle one and the rightmost one is leveled as 5 volts now in the so in the 12 volt pins it, you don't need to give only 12 volts okay so if you give 7 volts to 12 volts in the uh, leftmost pin and ground in the middle pin in that case this motor driver has an inbuilt uh, voltage regulator 5 volt voltage regulator so that voltage regulator will convert that voltage into 5 volt and you are going to get that 5 volt from this pin so this third rightmost pin will act as a, a output pin of 5 volts okay and then uh, and also that 5 volts will be used to power the ic of this uh, motor driver but if you are using voltage less than 7 volts or more than 12 volts in that case that voltage regulator will not work in that case what you need to do at first you need to open this jumper where and you can actually do this in this way actually uh, okay now here as you can see i have opened the jumper where and after you will open the jumper where and then uh, this 5 volt pin will not be anymore connected to the 5 volt regulator and in that case what you need to do is you you can uh, you can give 5 to any voltage between 5 to 35 in this 12 volt pin and also you need to supply 5 volts here so that this 5 volt can power the ic of this motor driver okay so if the jumper is connected then you need to give 7 volts to 12 volts and then you will get 5 volt output from here if the jumper is not connected in that case you need to give 12 5 to 35 volts like any voltage between 5 to 35 volts here and also you need to give 5 volts here in this pin okay so in this way you need to uh, you can give power to this particular uh, motor driver this is the first thing and the thing is doesn't matter whichever voltage you will give here 
your motor will always get two volts lesser than that because there is a voltage drop in the whole like in the whole motor driver so basically if you give 12 volts here your motor will get 10 volts if you get if you give like 7 volts here your motors will get 5 volts so you need to give it power keeping this in your mind okay okay now let's talk about how you can control the direction of the motor and how you can actually uh like control the speed of the motor now to control the direction here we have four pins uh, and they are labeled as in1 in2 in3 in4 now by using in1 in2 we can control the motor a and in3 and in4 we can control the motor b now if we like if we give in1 we make in1 high in2 low then this motor a will rotate in some direction and if, if we just reverse that that means in1 low and in2 high the motor will motor a will rotate in uh, in the reverse direction okay and in the same way if we give like uh, like in3 in4 like one zero then this motor b will rotate in some direction and if we just give that zero one this motor will rotate in reverse direction okay now and uh, now here i am uh, saying re direction and reverse direction rather than forward backward this is because the forward and backward thing really depends on how you will connect your motors here and things like that so that's why i'm just uh, saying here direction and reverse direction okay now to control the speed we need to now here as you can see here there are two jumpers connected with the enable one enable a and enable b pin now enable a is used to control the speed of motor a enable b uses to control the speed of motor b now if the jumpers are connected that means your motors will get the maximum voltage now if the jumpers yeah so if you want to control the speed you need to open the jumper at first and then you need to connect any of your pwm output from your microcontroller to this pin then by using sending pwm signals you can actually control the speed of the motor so using this pin you can control the speed of motor b using this pin you can control the speed of motor a this is how you can control the speed of the motor so in this way we can control the direction and the speed of the motor now this is how you can actually use this motor driver now if you want to know uh, how to like if you want to see how to connect all these things and how to code this thing with, my, with um, arduino or a microcontroller in that case uh, you can watch my next video where i will make a, a wireless car with this uh, motor driver and in that video i will show you how to code this thing and how to connect everything with it now coming to the advantage and disadvantages now this is all i already have discussed about our advantages now like uh, you can control the speed you can control the direction like you can connect like two uh, like it has you can connect two different motors and you can control them separately these are all the advantages now coming to a disadvantage i think now it can only give up to like the maximum current uh, is here two amps okay so i think this is the disadvantage so basically if you are building a very small uh, maybe a small car or maybe a, you if your motors uh, require a less amount of current then it's totally fine but if you are using some like uh, like i what i can say like more powerful motors in that case sometimes two amperes are not uh, enough this is one disadvantage i think another one is that that two voltage drop so that voltage drop of two volts so whenever you are giving 12 volts your motor will only get 10 volts so i think that's something uh i think yeah so that too you can say as like there are the disadvantages except that everything is fine in this driver and in the next video we will use this driver in a project so for that you will stay tuned in my channel and please subscribe to this channel and uh, if you have learned anything from this video please hit the like button and i will see you in the next video